He acted befuddled like he just stepped in a puddle That's the way it from all my criminal case When I seem to want to get this done quickly Acting like my behavior was sickly Prosecutor Benjamin was very behind this statement I further added that he thought that I wanted to get this charge rocking and rolling And it's true, you know, I wanted to get this shit going They made it sound like they were trying to do me a favor By accelerating the pace of my motherfucking criminal case But that I'm dragging my feet And just all sleep talked about being confused about me dragging my feet The cow never once looked at me and my Must be to ashamed of all his lies He was avoiding that contact I could tell that he was actively being dishonest And just putting words on the record To show that I'm defending myself in bad faith He knew that ultimately I want a dismissal My motion for dismissal was on his desk He called it premature, I said That's what you do with your wife? I had a premature dismissal by Ill Spice And he still didn't understand While I'm extending my criminal case Am I dealing with a lesser race? Can an appeals court not be able to see through this nonsense? I just claims to have no evidence before the court Ignoring all the evidence I want to report But the affidavit from my arrest warrant is in my case file And it's right with testimony from Officer Davis Although he's acting like a bitch and I should call him Mavis These affidavits are standard pieces of paper for every arrestee The boss sees them in every case Yet he makes a claim that there is no evidence in my file They acting like I'm a dumb stupid child It makes no sense I did not think to ask Judge Osley about my affidavit Prosecutor Claude Benjamin was holding on to it for dear life Wouldn't they go like it was a battered wife He wouldn't give it to me and they'll halfway to my hearing That moment I started fearing The cause then was a nearing I had no time to read and get familiar with my affidavit for arrest warrant However, if I was a real lawyer it would have been a standard question I could have asked right away They took advantage of me Because now I realize that every judge is going to get some kind of statement from the police That will sign some kind of sworn testimony that the cops wrote This is standard I asked my judge, not once, but twice To rule on the lawful nature of that will affect the rest of my life I said that so many have some kind of evidence or testimony But you cannot make that assumption Because people like Judge Osley would directly say they have no evidence to rule on On top of asking the court to make a ruling on the lawful nature of my arrest What happens if the judge says there's no evidence? I must follow up with asking if the judge signed off on any kind of police statement That was brought before them Apparently this is not clear on the judge's side Perhaps the play on my ignorance Dawsley sounded fair most of the time But was he just playing me? That should be a crime But it's a critical moment that it also needs to be fair Easy for him sitting on his chair There are minor issues and major issues He was fair on the minor issues But very aloof on the major issues Treating my issues like they were disposable like tissues This is troubling Especially for the kind of reputation that Louisiana has for civil rights issues Thank you for watching Please like, share, and subscribe